in this video, I will show you how do we maximize our opportunities so we can get the most profit out of each deal possible. If you can, I'm really trying to establish my presence here on YouTube. And if you can hit that subscribe button, it would totally mean the entire world to me. I don't sell anything, so that's about as much as I'm ever going to ask from you. Okay guys, maximizing opportunities, let's go. Stay to the last tip because that is easily the most important tip. The first thing is recognize your situation. Recognize where you are right now. Where you are right now is the most important thing. Stop looking five years ahead, 10 years ahead. Focus on right now. Once again, the most important place you're at is right now. You must recognize this before anything and thinking and forecasting in the future. Let me give you an example. My buddy, he called me up. He was pressure washing at Canes. Awesome. But he was saying, oh man, I wish I had more jobs like this. I wish I had more reoccurring jobs like this. Okay, well, let's think about how we can do this. Our response was to take pictures of your truck and put it in front of the Canes and post it on all of the socials. He had to recognize that he was at the job site while he was thinking about, oh man, I wish I had all these other jobs. Recognizing his current situation, he's able to completely fulfill his potential by getting as much content as possible. I saw the picture on LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, all the socials a couple of hours later made me happy. Number two is always do a little bit more than what the customer wants you to. Yeah, y'all might disagree on this. Oh, I'm only going to do on what, like what is on the quote. I promise you I learned this lesson early. This will make the customer absolutely adore you. Let's think about it from a metaphorical standpoint. You have, for example, you have that Cheeto bag and you finish up the Cheeto bag, but you have all this cheesy stuff on your fingers. You're not just gonna go wash your hands. You're gonna go finish and you're gonna lick those fingers. I don't know who the hell does, who washes their hands after uh, they finish a bag of Cheetos. They're gonna lick it off and they finish up the job even more. That is the best part about eating Cheetos is licking your fingers after. Put the cherry on top, lick the fingers off, lick, lick the cheesy stuff off your finger, and then you go wash your hands. <laughs> I hope I hope you do. So back to the point, always do a little bit more than what the customer wants you to because subconsciously they will feel that and they're a lot more susceptible to appreciate you. And third is probably the absolute most important tip of this is you have to add tips, add tips. I cannot emphasize this much more, add tips to your CRM. You can legitimately make thousands more throughout the entire year by just adding tips to your CRM and your final invoice. Especially amongst the service-based industry, people want to give you tips, especially if you do a good job. You do a, a, like the job above and beyond, they wanna give you a tip. If you do a great job and you give the customer a experience of a lifetime, they will give you a tip. And you might receive some awesome, awesome tips. Maybe even up to four figures, five figures. Guys, you now have the formula to maximize your limitless potential in the service-based industry, which is recognition plus overperforming plus tips equals maximum profit. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, all the post notifications. Do all that stuff, it really does help me out. I really do appreciate each and every single one of y'all that are sticking to the end of these videos because it will help you out in the future. I wish y'all the best of luck and keep killing it. Seriously, y'all are killing it, keep doing it, and I appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.